Hey, what's up, my boys? <laughs> Welcome to Peso da Regua. We are in Dodo today because today the theme is around Dodo Valley, the wine, the river, maybe some more wine. Today we will have a Portuguese owned wine real estate. So we are going to have a lunch with them in their house. So it's going to be fantastic. We were here only a few weeks ago and now we're back and for good reasons. I mean, this is just spectacular. Amazing. And this bridge here, do you know how old this bridge is? I don't know, but honestly. It, <laughs> but actually back in the days, they, are, they also took the wine, not only by the river, which is the traditional way, but also by train back yeah. to Dodo. You know, I think this is like an essential okay. way to start the day. Salud. In, in Dodo, you can start your day with a glass of rosé. It's okay. In Portugal, Amelia. In Portugal. No matter where you are in Portugal, it's actually something you have to sign a document when you arrive here. It's always time to drink a rosé. So uh, here we are on a, on a winery um, that is owned by this fantastic couple, Luisa and José. Luisa? Luisa? Un placer. José. José, un placer. We are standing the wrong way. This yeah. is what you should do. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Okay, I'm going to go over here. I'm going to go over here. This is, this yeah. is, this is, this is Oh, Luisa, you look amazing with oh, the background. <laughs> Luisa, e, 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 am, uh, um, mirador, e também temos um mirador. Um mirador de Luisa. <laughs> It's perfect. Dois miradouros. So today we are going to have an exclusive lunch here. Mm -hmm. uh, we are going to taste their wines. This property is not only the base of the winery, it's also a place where you can rent a little uh, room for you and your family because they have a little pool here, they have guest houses and then you eat the food made here and it looked like they know how to cook here. It smelled like they know how to cook uh -huh. here. And they came the the the, the, uh, the, the, the wine, wine the, maker. The wine maker. What's your name again? Vasco. Vasco, Vasco da Gama. Vasco. You were <laughs> <laughs> The, the Vasco da Gama of the wine, right? Yeah, yeah. And you're the one who's making the perfect wine we're drinking. Yeah, not exactly perfect. But it's not uh, perfect? No, it's not perfect. But don't you think that perfect wine can be perfect even though it's not perfect? Uh, yes, of course. It's our, our, um, uh, our life that we want to share in a bottle of wine. Oh, que lindo. Like uh, like like checking out the latest iPhone with your jobs. A sort of delera. This is a holy grail of uh, food. Pensáis que a sort of delera es mejor que alera normal? Different. 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 O que prefieres? Uh, it depends yeah. on the on the occasion. Sometimes you want rosé, sometimes you want white wine. Yes. It's yes. the same. It's the same. Yes. Okay. Exactly. We've had a sorta before. We've had a sorta de bacalhau, a sorta de tamboril, but I did not know about a sorta de alieta. Mmm. Oh, this smells. <laughs> 
Oh. See, I prefer this over a normal alligator. For really? Sure. Yes. Yeah. Why? Mmm. The flavors are much more pungent. You don't have to chew it. It's basically like a stew what do you kind mean, of feeling. Chew it like you have teeth. Yeah, I don't need my teeth here, but it's the taste. Is a sorta d'aliera, is it a normal thing to get or is it a rare thing? Um, like, well, look, it's my, it's my first time. Really? Yeah. And you've been here for a long time? Yeah. Miss Luisa, sí. fash as alieras as alieras como alieras normales eh, sí. antes de, de que. Um, a, a sort of a sort, de... si, si, a, a lady, a lady the olive oil here is spectacular, um, but it's only for the family here. This is not something you sell. Yes, yes, it's only for the family. But this yes. is this is a gold mine if you sell it. <laughs> Why don't you well, sell this? Well, because we, 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 we want that uh, olive oil to, to for us and for our guests, not. To, you know, uh, I think it. You know, it's against <laughs> the, the rules of humankind to to, to hide <laughs> some, something so good. From other uh, people. You no, know, it's a it's a very small production, so um, make uh, it expensive. So it's it's worth it. it. <laughs> Honestly, I don't know how to describe it, but can I have a bottle? Salud. Quite the experience we're getting here. Yeah, and I gotta say one thing. I only smell this wine. It smells insane. What is your your specialty here? Is it white wine, red wine, rosé? Um, Honestly, um, I, I believe that we, we have the best con better conditions to grow red grapes because it's oh, so, so we haven't even gotten to the best part yet. Yes, do you think making wine is an artwork or is it more a handcraft like laying a floor in a house? If you work in a big uh, uh, winery, it's more uh, um, like you said, uh, well, like a craftsman's. Uh, if you work in a really small uh, winery, uh, it's more like uh, art, I believe. Cheers. Finally, Amelie, we're getting pulvo a la gareo. Amelie, how do you feel about this big... Uh, I'm gonna cut it into pieces. Amelie, she's scared of uh, the big octopus, octopi. I mean, I like, I like it. I think it tastes amazing, but I always cut it in tiny pieces, so I don't see the... It's weird. I'm excited for this. Look at how beautiful the color is, Jon. It's very red. So, how many red, uh, red wines do you make here? Uh, two. Two? Is this a high end or low end, or how do you no, make this it? Is, this is the, the, the low end. Yeah. Flaske to detail price here. It costs 12.95 euro. Okay. So it's not cheap wine. Okay. So we have the this one. We have the reserve, and then we have the limited. Yes. Mm. We are having probably my favorite Portuguese dish today. Pois yes, yes, that's that's your aliera. I didn't uh, even try the wine though. It's an oak monster. So. Bushesas, is that normal from the north to have this, or is it an all uh, Portugal, okay. all Portugal dish? Because we've had it in Alentejo, but we also had it in uh, Trasos Mundes. I eat bushesas here in Douro, and I eat bushesas in Alentejo. Okay. Both what about places. what about Lisbon? In Lisbon, it's very hard to find. I'm eating Saúde. Thank you for having us. Carinho, carinho, saúde, meu amor. Saúde, carinho e amor. Carinho, um, you talk a lot saúde. Portuguese. <laughs> Yo. Carinho, I think saúde. I'm going to stop to talk you with you in English. The Vasco da Gama of the red wine. We are having now. We're having the reserva, the high end. Uh, yeah, the reserva. This one has a, a, a bigger percentage of uh, Torriga Nacional. Uh, which is our premium uh, grape, and this one spends 12, uh, 12 months in an uh, in oak barrel. It's a bit more alcoholic. Um, I love that. And it's, it's a bit more uh, <laughs> uh, round. <laughs> mm -hmm. So this is more of my LA, you know, full body wine, hint of French oak, you know. I said this was a good wine, but I gotta say that this is definitely an... Uh, a great wine. No, 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 it's better. It's like walking bev barefoot in a rice field with rose mary on the floor birds are singing chisling almost what 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 are you eating kavaka kavaka is a piece of wood that we use for fire to put on the fireplace this is fantastic in danish we call this sand cake hallelujah also hallelujah this very good combination it is yes now you can put it back. Cariño, salud, amor. Cariño. 
Dá-me um abraço. Dou um abraço. Amélia. João. Para mim. Yep. <risos> obrigada, muito, muito obrigada. Obrigada eu, Amélia, adorei. Obrigada. Oh, um prazer é visitar aqui. Quando quiserem, voltem. Tá bom? Tá. João. Já está na. Já tá na... João. Tchau. Ah, obrigada, foi também um prazer. Obrigado pela hospitalidade. 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 É aqui que nós vamos. So wine from a full year or um, uh, the last production, the, 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 the 2017. This is the last production from 2017. The rosé and the white, 2019. Uh, reserve, 17. Uh, <laughs> killing me softly. Oh, <laughs> this onions. You know, my father says if there's dust on the bottle, it's a good bottle. Olha que engraçado, esta não tem medalha. Sim, será verdade. É melhor, muito obrigada. Obrigada. Tchau, tchau. Um prazer. Vá, meus amigos, até logo. Beijos, tchau. Beijinhos, beijinhos. Beijinhos, obrigadinho. Obrigadinho. Ai, obrigadinho. Obrigado. That was one of the most uh, authentic experiences we've had in, in Portugal. Um, coming here as a tourist, I think this is some, one of the things, one of the experiences you'll take home in your luggage that you will truly um, treasure. You just get a grasp of a different culture on a whole different level. Now we are heading to Pinhão. Pinhão is a um, great spot in Douro Valley. It's maybe, in my opinion, one of the best spots in Douro Valley. And we are going to make a river cruise, a small river cruise on a traditional boat for you to see, well, navigate in the middle of the vineyards. Finally guys, we are on a boat on the Douro River. We've been to Douro Valley for four times now or something. And ever since, you know, I've been wanting to go on a, on a boat trip, finally. So this kind of boat that we are on today is actually one of the traditional boats that they would usually transport the wine barrels with. So they would collect all the wine here in Dodo and then they would transport it by these boats into Porto. What do you think on the, the boat ride? That's a, that's a must do when you're here, This right? is an amazing experience. It's a, it's a part of our tours in Dodo Valley. Uh, if one hand you have uh, all the ride that we do on the on the wineries, by car. something about being on the water. So right here there's a hotel we want to stay at, the Vintage Hotel. It's supposed to be amazing. And uh, yeah, but we'll, we'll come back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, Minions! Hey, Minions! I was right.
Ta-da! Capacho! But more importantly, what is this? There's a bit of a difference in our portion size here. <laughs> <laughs> I had to have a fancy senior. This is our last day in Porto. But uh, we decided to go for room service tonight and just take a chill pill here at the hotel room and watch some uh, who wants to become rich not a millionaire because you can only win 50,000 euros in Denmark it's 1 million mm. Mm? Mm. <laughs> I don't think hotels are the best places to get this but this is a pretty damn good one what a beautiful day it is today <laughs> But not as beautiful as our night's sleep. We had a wonderful sleep. And uh, the last one here at Villa Foch Hotel and Spa. Today we have our last day of exploration with the uh, Sacrish Vacation and Ushuel. But you'll have to see that in the next video. Anyway guys, thank you for watching. Obrigado por ver o vídeo. Até logo. Deixa, deixa Porto. So, another day, another cruise, and this one is even more intimate than the one we had yesterday.